Why do you think President Ruto and DP Kachagu have decided to subsidize petrol? Disruptive, as mm -hmm. you've said. Mm -hmm. But then yesterday, we saw the reintroduction of subsidies. Mm -hmm. So what, are there actually subsidies in place to stabilize the cost of fuel? Or what exactly is going on? If we're going to be innovative and disruptive, we're mm -hmm. going back to spending money in order to make life a little bit more easier mm -hmm. for Kenyans, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. But then, which is it? Subsidize, not subsidize, be innovative, <laughs> stick to the status quo. What really is the driver of this economic agenda, specifically when it comes to this? L let me say, subsidy is not bad per se. Mm. I, I think uh, the, the, the issue of subsidy is uh, where are you going to put it? Where are you going to place it? And if you are placing it where it's going to produce, just like uh, we the government has done in the fertilizer subsidy where it's for production as opposed to of cons consumption that that's that, 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 that's a good way to go i i think that the challenge comes in when you, we we want to borrow to co to consume we, we want to subsidize to to consume just to you know to to to, to there, there has to be a value there must be a return on on investment mm -hmm. and that's what i'm saying that um, as as we move along I think the government is not afraid to keep on uh, looking at what is working for its people at a given time. Uh, you, we, 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 we are not in this tight jacket thing where we're saying this can't happen. I, I think as we move along, it's only fair and, uh, and, and normal and uh, prudent for somebody to keep on asking, uh, saying, where, 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 where do I put what I want so that many people can be able to do what to, 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 to benefit. And, and we will see a lot of that before we, we, we stand on our own in terms of um, meeting all our development needs through local generation of revenue. You know, that, 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 that's what we desire to do. And, and, and the more we bring more people in that bracket where they, are, they can see value in, in, in paying taxes and, and, and the like, and they see value in service, the better, because then we'll be able to, 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 to start um, uh, being self-sufficient mm -hmm. from what we, we collect and generate. Yeah. You know, this government has a, an advantage that previous governments didn't have, despite having a great number of people who are unemployed. Mm. These unemployed individuals are far more educated. I understand the format is different because previously the subsidies were anchored on, especially for the petrol, were anchored on uh, Denny. But right now they are not. But that is not my issue about the subsidies. But why do you think the Kenya Kwanzaa government is taking a U-turn about subsidizing petrol oil gas in short. I feel they have understood and they have noted that the Azimio side is taking advantage of the current hard situations to gain popularity. And what is happening is this is enough proof that they have noted that as a Kenya Kwanza government they are losing ground and they need to act and make sure that Wajiko is not feeling the pain. Because if this happens they might lose the job. As much as people are accusing in a cause of government fighting, of course there's that way of kind of a double speak to every politics politicians. They all double speak. As much as people are fighting, but now Murisema subsidy the buyer, some murder subsidy is ten. To me, I feel sometimes as a government, you have to listen, you have to bow down to a jiko. Because if you don't, you lose. And they have understood this. This is why they are trying to think of how they can subsidize. To make sure that the cost of petrol doesn't go high because they know if this happens there was a ground come to 27. and it is understandable the only problem is the format in this case at least we are not going for debt to finance our subsidies it's a better plan and i feel like uh, when you see a government doing like this you can tell that this is a government that is ready to reason and to learn from others people's mistakes somehow. The only part one is how the debt auditing. That is one thing that I will keep repeating because it's very important. Very, very important. Run next video.